What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. After my divorce hearing, where I was married for 10 years, I was a traditional wife, I was a stay-at-home mother to four children. One of them is disabled. She had four open heart surgeries. I have been their primary parent since the moment they entered this universal realm. I'm the person that they have known from sun up to sundown and through the night. They do have two parents, but the way our family was structured, I was the one that took care of them. He was a little bit busy doing other things. Here's the thing, dude. I, I hate this demonization of like demonizing your husband because he works hard. The thing is, if you want a man to make a lot of money, he's not going to have a lot of time. If you don't want him to make a lot of money, then he's going to have more time. So what would you rather have, ladies? Would you rather have a man that has a lot of money? You're not going to get a lot of his time. As simple as that. So already from the jump, I can tell she's already talking like they're two individuals and not a cohesive unit, which is already a red flag. I wrongfully assumed that courts would see the situation for what it was and give me everything that I wanted and I would be able to remain their primary parent and remain in good, like just everything would be amazing and that's not what happened. I had to not only split custody, but in my in my opinion, it was horrible because this person doesn't even have their own home. He is living with his romantic partner. So I was like, how is the court gonna give you 50% custody? You don't even have a fucking home. You're an actual hobosexual. You have no home, no job, nothing. There's no way a court is going to give you 50% custody. They sure as fuck did. Not only did they, they awarded him child support because he quit his job right before the divorce hearing to throw off our income. And then the court used a really fucked up calculation for my income. And it was just like literally the worst of the worst of the worst. My attorney said, I mean, you wrecked your own home and you're mad that the consequences aren't good. Stupid. I mean, you divorced him. What are you talking about? Her jaw was on the floor. She has never had a divorce end up so lopsided in her whole fucking career. And then she wished me luck and I was on my way. If I didn't have the money to pay her, sucks to suck. In the franticness of like, oh my God, I have to give this person some of, I'm gonna be homeless. Do you know what I mean? Like how am I gonna pay child support and pay my rent and all my bills when I'm barely making it by myself? Well, you, you had a husband and you had a home. <laughs> That's what I don't get. It's like <laughs> you had a husband, you had a home, but now you're mad that you're alone. But this is what you wanted. Like you just thought everything was going to go your way. This is why I say women grow old. They never grow up. She was thinking like, oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be all hunky dory. It's going to be great once I'm alone. Now you're alone. Now it sucks. Harsh reality. Needless to say, it's been five years. I never went homeless. I never lost anything. I never lost my kids. And I've only gotten stronger and better. And it was because in the France. So strong that you're on TikTok crying. What? After that, I called an attorney thinking, somebody has to fix this. Somebody's going to make it better. And I called an attorney. I told him the whole story. And he was like, do you want me to tell you the real fucking truth? Stupid. Talk to you like you're my fucking sister? Or do you want me to give you like the polite answer? Like he could hear the vulnerability and the, the, the desperate. Language, honey. Goodness gracious. It's like seven or ten F-bombs. In my voice. He was like, get the fuck over it. Divorces suck. People get bad results, and if you continue to try to fight with him in the courts, you're only going to make yourself look worse. You can be angry, you can be mad, but you need to just shut the fuck up, put your head down, and focus on your life with your kids, mm. because the longer you sit in that anger about how it didn't go your way, you're, pop you're stopping yourself, you're slowing down your healing. You're... you're yeah, you're slowing down your healing. It was like a light clicked in my head, like... You're right. It took you five years to realize that? Stupid. Move on, honey. You got a divorce. Keep it pushed. It's over. The divorce is over. The decisions have been made. I can either accept it and move forward and focus on my life and focus on solutions and focus on at least I don't have this ugly fucking dust. Goodness gracious. <laughs> in my bed, in my body, in my anything. You gave this man four children and now you want to shame him? Stupid. What? Anymore. And that's what I did. And life got better the minute you stop looking at all the problems and start thinking of solutions everything starts to get better wow logic right logic that's what us as men do we don't focus on the problems we focus on solutions but you ladies love to fester on the problems let's break it down straight like goodness gracious she was with this guy for a very long time she could have left this scenario way sooner right she didn't have to stay as long as she did but when she did she thought it was going to be amazing honey divorces suck 
like your attorney said, I'm so glad that the lawyer was based enough to give it to her straight, but this is just another case of modern women thinking the grass is always greener on the other side. And the thing is, a lot of times it's not. You have a good marriage, and if even if it's not good, sometimes you can work through these things. That's what relationships are all about. When you get married, you say the vows till death do his part, and as soon as things get hard, you just want to leave. What happened to fighting for a relationship? you got to pick your hard. Marriage is hard. Divorce is hard. Being single is hard. Being alone is hard. It's all hard, right? Pick your hard. In like being a father and being a mother, like I feel like most fathers get to just live their lives without like the worry of the children. They don't have to schedule their lives around the children. They kind of make plans with their friends all willy nilly. It doesn't matter because you know you have your wife at home watching the babies. But then when you're like a mother, your whole life is revolved around your children. What's wrong with that? When you make plans, I feel like you kind of have to talk to your spouse a couple days in advance. Like, hey, does this work for you so that I can go do this? That's called being an adult. Stupid. What are you talking about? Why is that? And why don't dads have like the bare minimum of like respect for the mother of their children? To if he's do providing the same for thing. you, dude. If he's providing for you, he's not putting his hands on you. He's not cheating on you. He's not bringing home any diseases. Why are you complaining so much? I just don't understand why women feel the need to invalidate a man's experience because they're basically resentful that their husbands have freedom. A woman's idea of freedom is being able to get up and go. But last time I checked, a lot of these men are working to be able to provide the necessities for his family. And guess what? He doesn't have a choice to stay home. He doesn't have a choice to call in sick. He doesn't have a choice to change jobs that maybe he likes better because he's thinking about his family 24 seven. But a lot of these women get so entitled because they get used to their lifestyles that Facts. they cannot even comprehend a lot of these sacrifices that their husbands are making. And let's be honest, a lot of women are control freaks. So yes. even when the dads step in and wanna help with packing lunches or putting the kids to bed or getting them dressed to go out on a family outing. Women cannot handle it because they want to be control freaks. They want to be perfectionists. Facts. They're going to bitch about every little thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't put the right snack in the bag. You didn't put the right drink in the bag. Did you remember the goldfish? So eventually these men are like, fuck it. If I can't do anything right, I'm not going to do anything at all. And at the end of the day, I don't understand why you have to shit on your husbands. If you want like PTO time or time to go do something, just freaking say that. Learn how to communicate like an adult. And, and see, that's my thing. Like these women would rather get on TikTok and cry than go actually talk to their husbands about these problems. Like, what do you think is going to happen when you get on TikTok? It's going to be an echo chamber of other sad single women um, that are just going to be sorry. Big back, big back, big back, big back. Oh, sorry, let's hear it that being in the military and being a military family was too unstable for my son. I have been my son's primary caregiver since birth and any of you- Wait, 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 wait. You're his mom. No, duh. Stupid. You're supposed to be. You had him. Why are they saying like caregiver like it's a job? Like they got hired by the government to watch after their own son. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You're his mother. Of course you need to be the primary caregiver. Stop saying caregiver. Start saying being his mother. That's what you are. If I've ever applied for a move away request, know that the stability is the stability of the relationship with the primary parent, not the stability of location. And unfortunately, we just got a judge who was new to family law, had only been a judge for two years and never spent any time in family law Aww. as an attorney. It's always somebody else's fault. And... Don't Today take accountability. is day nine of not talking to my son because dad won't let us talk to each other, even though it's in the court order. And have you guys ever heard of a dependipotamus? It's usually a military wife that just gets a little more big back, big back, big back, big back. Once they're married for a bit. Dad doesn't spend any time with our son. And since he's had custody of him for the last nine days, he has not spent more than an hour with him a day and the rest of the time he's been with other family members or friends and while well, i'm a stay-at-home mom and i am trying like hell to figure things out with my attorney but attorneys are incredibly expensive so if enough of you watch this video maybe i can get enough followers to 
start selling things on TikTok shop or promoting things on TikTok. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, dude. <laughs> Maybe I can get enough followers to start selling things on TikTok shop. Oh my. Wow. TikTok shop. So I can pay for the attorney fees and potentially get my son back. I'm doing everything I can. I'm trying to figure out how about moving back to where we were even though we didn't live there what i don't know i don't know what else to Stupid. do I'm at a loss. how about you communicate with your husband and i know this is going to sound crazy why don't you go talk to your husband like an adult and try to come to a common resolution of how you guys can fix your relationship instead of trying to get on tiktok shop and sell and start promoting products I know it's a crazy concept, right? Talking to your husband, who is also hopefully an adult, you two having an adult conversation, it may be uncomfortable, getting to the bottom of your problem and trying to find a common resolution. Is that, am I crazy? Let me know in the comments. Is that, is that a crazy concept, what I'm um, articulating right now? Is that crazy to think? Let me know. Today's been really hard. This woman divorced Good her. Good Lord. Today has been really hard. I had to watch that um, catastrophe. Good Lord, honey. You poor thing. It's more than just her own life. We signed our final divorce papers last week. And I just got notified today that the lawyers and the papers the court today to be signed by the judge. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? This is what you wanted, right? <sighs> Everybody keeps thinking that I'm handling this divorce so well, and I'm not. Stupid. I'm not okay. <laughs> Next week would have been our nine-year anniversary. And you threw it all away. Now you're crying in your car alone. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. Uh, you, you were supposed to stay with your husband. Crazy concept, I know. Cry I don't out. want this. Then why did you file for divorce? I never wanted this. And it hurts and it sucks and I... I don't care. Cry for sympathy on TikTok. I know that I'm going to be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay, queen. Queen. But right now it really sucks. Mm. And I feel like I can't... Well, you're speaking, so you can't breathe, honey. And, well... He's like 20 minutes late. I know that he's getting my text messages, because I'm getting the red receipts. I hope he's okay? I don't know. Like, how long do I wait? It's been 30 minutes. I tried to call him. I tried to text him. I haven't gotten an answer. You're getting ghosted, um, honey. So, I don't really know what to do. I don't know. Um, Go read a book. Oh. Go home. Go vacuum. Go do something else. Get out of your car. Stop crying on TikTok. How do these people have two phones? How does she just pull up a phone? Tried to call him. But yet she's got like another phone. Like, it, how many I phones you guys got? Him. I haven't gotten an answer. Um, so I don't really know what to do. I don't know. Um, oh. Pray about it. Stupid. <laughs> You smell that? Oh, just a bit of sheer going to the same place. Yep, here. Where's your ETA? You okay? Uh, you really thought I was going to go on a date with you? MILFs are for... <laughs> it says MILFs are for effing not dating. Tell that to TikTok. <laughs> City boys. We are up one on that one. Good Lord. doing you're calling your ex-husband right right while she's oh. out trying to get some pain your ex-husband and actually out there spending time with your kids bro you can't make this stuff up she's literally out there trying to get deed down trying to get her spine realigned while her husband's out there being a good father goodness gracious bro modern women man well i got stood up we don't care oh, and he kind of said something that really kind of just fucked me up um, you belong to the streets. And I really just kind of want my kids 
if maybe you would bring the kids to come and I can just do it with them instead. Let me call mom and let her know what's going on because, I mean, I think they'd enjoy kayaking, but I also have something to ask them. No, let's, let's have them come over to you and watch you cry. I'd let them know. So. As a kid, that's what I always loved. You know, just watching my mom cry. Like, <laughs> come on, stop. Just let me know. All right. All right, thanks. I'll let you know what's going on. Shouldn't have wrecked your home. Shouldn't have ruined your marriage. Wouldn't be going through this right now. They always think the grass is greener. Crashing their dad time for her own selfish reasons. They were having a good time. They had KFC. We'll have to tear up some KFC right now. One of the hardest things I've had to learn over the last couple of months that I've been doing the alphabet dating is that... Alphabet date dating? What is this? Just getting ran through by every letter? What is that? as a single mom of four. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, you said a single mom? You wanted to be a single mom and now you're mad you're a single mom, huh? My 30s sucks. I started this as a way to build a list of things that I want and don't want in a future partner and I have had a blast as I've been going through all of these dates. Oh, you've been, you've been getting I've blasted through those dates, honey. One of those things is that I want somebody who is going to be able to accept the fact that my children... Um, the only person that's going to be able to accept the fact that, the ch that your children are the biggest part of your life is your husband or your ex-husband. The father of your children will understand that because he's just as invested. Why did you leave him? He seems like a good guy. He's out there. He bought them a bunch of KFC. He's willing to go out there and spend time with them. Why did you leave this man? Children are the biggest part of uh, my We just life. have, the thing is, so I have far, no sympathy. only one person Zero. had shown any interest in my children. And Why would they? They're not their kids. Why would another man show interest in your children? They're not his kids. Don't give a damn about those snot-nosed brats. Go get your man. Go get, go get the father to care. He even ended things by saying that he can't see himself with somebody with four kids. That's and a lot that of kids! sentiment has been echoed throughout these dates. They all tell me that I am really great, they have a lot of fun with me, that they want to keep seeing me, but that they couldn't really see anything serious with me. Yeah, why would I want to raise four kids from another man? I want my own legacy. I don't want four of your snot-nosed breasts that I gotta raise. Are you stupid? Stupid. And I think that that is kind of getting to me because my kids are freaking amazing and I don't understand why you wouldn't want to spend time with them. Grass is your greener kids. where you water it. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude, you should have stayed with your husband, honey. You should have stayed with your husband. Why did you ever leave him? You had four kids with but this man. we need to feel appreciated. Good it Lord. It seems women don't realize how little we ask for until it's over. A married woman's single or unmarried friends are her worst enemies. A woman's worst enemy is another woman. Single women keep other women single. Yep, single they women keep women single. Dude, this is just so crazy to me that these single women really think that they can go out there, have multiple kids with another man, get back on the market, and think that their value is just as high. Boo-boo, it's a wrap for you. You know what you should have done? Go back to your ex-husband. He seems like a good dude. Try to mend it out with him. Because at the end of the day, you picked him. You may get mad for a plethora of reasons, but at the end of the day, you picked this man. So your best bet is to go back and get with the man that actually cares about the kids that you have, and he's actually invested in their future. Don't expect another man to come in and play another... Um, uh, why would you expect another man to come in and play another man's save game? That's, that's, like, asking, that's like asking me to come in. I'm, I beat half of Red Dead Redemption 2. But I want you to come in and play the rest of it. Like, you're like, I got no context to this game. I don't even know the buttons. What are you talking about? I'm not playing another man's save game. Same thing with these ladies. Stay with your husband. Work things out like an adult. It looks like you guys are working things out right now. Why couldn't you stay married? Because you're selfish and you're childish. And you wanted to wreck your own home. And the thing is, we as men should have zero sympathy for women that want to wreck their own homes. You want to go do that? Cool. You made your bed. You got to lay in it. Oh, look, the consequences of my own actions. Stupid. You really thought another man was going to come in and save you? None of us are wearing a cape. Well, actually, let me check. Am I wearing a cape? That's what I thought. Turn around right now. Pat yourself on the back. Are you wearing a cape? <laughs> let me know in the comments. Are you wearing a cape? <laughs> let me know. Let me know. Are you wearing a cape? Because <laughs> I almost bet you none of us are wearing a cape. 
we're too awake for that, man. We're too awake for that. We're, we're going our own way. We're too smart for that now. Ladies, this is a wrap for you. Stick, stick with your husband. Stop wrecking your own home. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.